Hello, I wanted to show you guys my invention of the dish organites. I have made them a while back, but um, I had some uh, psychic experiences with these. Now, this counts too. Uh, I had one when I first made it. They weren't quite finished, but I was it was late. I was tired. I was ready to go to bed, and a clear message came through, very strong, very clear. I was kind of shocked. I was like, wow. Um, it was nothing evil or anything, just a communication. Uh, but I pushed it away because I was too tired and dismissed that. Uh, then recently I spoke to someone about these shapes and I um, went ahead and tried to um, show them one of my pieces. The moment I touched it, I felt something like it has been collecting and there was an overload in here and I just got the discharge off it. Um, again, I dismissed it because shortly after I was tired and I went to bed. <laughs> so that seems to be my, my thing. If I'm tired, um, you know, I just don't want to deal with this kind of stuff. But then the next day, which was my internet free day, and by that I mean my phone is off and anything that has um, EMFs on it is unplugged. Um, I started getting a nudging that someone wanted to contact me or whatever, however it was, just... Just strong enough that I decided, let me turn everything back on and check. Because if I have a friend that needs prayer, um, I will turn things on just to uh, be there for them. Um, in either case, I asked around the next few days. And certainly during the two times during that morning and lunchtime that I got the notching, this lady had been thinking about me. So that's pretty impressive. Now for my next build, I'm going to be making two more organites, and this is something that I can only make one at a time. I cannot mass produce, guys. This is what the back of this one looks like. Oh yeah, this one too. Some of them look one way or another. Uh, they're made with a lot of good stuff, like shungite water. That's why it's so uh, dark in the bottom and discolored. Um, I, the ones I'm going to be making um, are different in that they're going to have bionized crystal sand. They're also going to have the tensor ring that I have in these. And they're going to have something that they do not have is this uh, biogeometric symbol of Dr. Karim's for psychic protection. Not that I am afraid, but I just, you know, better safe than sorry, like they say. So this said, I would be curious to hear from any of you folks um, any ideas on how to use these psychic tools. Um, any suggestions on how to test them? I am not, I do not dabble in that. Um, this was just like a, I guess an accidental thing that um, just came about and uh, pretty exciting. Uh, the other thing I wanted to address is the fact that the ring is open as you see the energy bridges. A lot of people say, oh, it doesn't. Well, no, for electric energy, it has to be connected, but we're talking scalar energy and other kinds of um, energies. Uh, this is here you're seeing is Dr. Karim's book, Impregnation and the Multidimensional Open Energy System that he uses for his um, uh, for his biogeometric signatures. And if you have the book, you can find it on page 176. On 177 at the bottom, and I'm going to read this little blurb here so you see why um, I'm saying that about the open endings. When I weld pieces or people weld pieces, the energy gets stagnant and over time and it can turn. I've had several of my customers come, customers come to me and tell me that the energy turned and they are surrounded by negative energy. And so I told them, get one of my generators, put it in the center of all the other things that you purchased, activate my generator with a beneficial frequency. And sure enough, that took, took care of the problem. But um, anyhow, here is what Dr. Karim has to say about uh, open ending. The biogeometric signatures themselves, as well as other freestanding biogeometry shapes that have an open-ended energy flow, generally resist impregnation as they are cleared through the energy flow. If the shapes have no open ends, they will impregnate through the stagnation and accumulation of static and other fields. The base on which the biogeometric signatures are engraved or embossed is prone to impregnation that disables the flow of energy. So in other words, it gets stagnant and that's what the experience of these customers was. 
again uh, check the description of my video if you're interested in checking out uh, a free drawing that I have or participating in any way this week's drawing is going to be this symbol up here but I make different ones and uh, I'm looking forward to hearing your feedback or thoughts or how this can be tested thank you have a blessed day